I know you travel all around the world. You're performing. You're a global star now. You just performed in Australia. Is that right? Yeah, I was there a few weeks ago. I toured in Australia. I did uh, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. It was a lot of fun. What, what, it was it nice here? You like the people? I, I do. Uh, they have some interesting slang there. One slang that I really liked was uh, they say house. When they want to say something's bad, they'll be like, oh, don't go there, mate. house. Really? That's their term for something's not good. Yeah. House means outhouse. Yeah. And then I heard some woman say, yeah. And then that one's easy to yeah, get. Yeah, we figured that. It could just, it, it yeah, yeah. could just what be like you, a what big house. What could did you think it meant? Maybe just like a house you only take <laughs> in. I don't know. <laughs> or a house that's actually made. made. Of yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. See. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to make it clear. You did the right thing. But uh, so I, I heard people say it like that, and then I heard a woman say like, uh, oh my God, he's gorgeous. He's built like a house. And I was like, that's strange. So he's like, so massive, you could put a toilet inside him and use, <laughs> and use him as a restroom outdoors if yeah. need be? No, uh, confusion. Confusion. Yeah. Now, you are uh, quite a successful fellow. Life seems to be going well. How is your social life? I want to know about that. What's going on there? Uh, good. I, I'm uh, just a single guy. I'm not married. I don't have kids or anything like that. Uh, mm -hmm. All my friends are getting married and stuff, which is uh, kind of strange. You're not um, sure you're down with that idea? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I see people my age getting married to people, and like it's not people they know that well sometimes. Like getting married to people they've known for like a year and a half. It's like a year and a half. Is that enough time to get to know someone, to know you want to spend the rest of your life with them? A year and a half. I've had sweaters for a year and a half. I've been like, what the f was I doing this sweater? So, so you're you're really you think people should know each other longer than that? Is that it? You think? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's just a scary proposition. Like you're 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 trying to say this is the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. It's a, it's a big deal, you know. Yeah. I, I I don't know. I mean, one thing I love about marriage, though, I I do love uh, the proposal. I think that's really fascinating because this is this is a moment, you know, you're going to change the life of yourself and this person you love forever. You mm -hmm. know, and you can make it the most beautiful, amazing, special, romantic moment. You can do that. You can plan it out. You can make it perfect. You don't get to do that with most big moments in your life, or with a proposal, you can. Right. Nick Conan, you're married. Yes. What did you do to make it the most beautiful, amazing, special, perfect moment <laughs> ever? I like, had my manager call her. Uh, oh, that's... <laughs> no, I... I, I what, what, what he arranged it all. No, I, uh, I... Pardon me? What city were we in? Uh, I was actually uh, in Connecticut at the time. My wife and I went out... To, uh, my current wife. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, my wife and I went to the country, my girlfriend then, and I had the ring ready, and I, you know, asked her, and, uh, yeah. Wait, so you're, like, in Connecticut, like, where? Like, in, like, a... You're getting real specific here. <laughs> I was out in a nice sort of bed and breakfast area, and we had gone there for the weekend, and we were hanging out, and I, I sort of acted like nothing was going on, and then she was born, and she's like, you know, what do you want to, what should we do now? Like, should we go to the movies? And I said, we could do that, or we could get married, and she, oh, Whoa. and I had the ring. I had the ring ready to go, you know? It sounds so, like you were, like, in some like field in Connecticut. She was probably like, Conan's gonna murder me. I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I it was getting really dark and I said, you will marry me or you will find your way yeah, out yeah. of the field. <laughs> that, was, that was the plan B. Yeah, <laughs> the murder part. Plan B. <laughs> that sounds very sweet though. It I, was I, sweet, it was nice. I think if you're gonna propose, I think you should do something nice and sweet and special because what you're asking of this person is an insane thing. It doesn't seem insane because you know, we're all familiar with marriage as an institution, but like, imagine if marriage didn't exist and you're a guy and you're asking a woman to get married. Like, imagine what that conversation would be. You know, you'd be like, hey, so uh, you know how we've been uh, spending a lot of time together, doing a lot of stuff together, hanging out and everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I want to keep doing that till you're dead. <laughs> I want to keep hanging out with you till one of us dies. <laughs> Put this ring on your finger so people know we have an arrangement. <laughs> hmm? Who's that guy that's walking up here? It's a priest. I want you to swear to God you won't back out of this deal. <laughs> this is everything I used in the field. Yeah. <laughs>